Good morning and welcome back to The Space, a mindfulness podcast for everyone. Do you ever get pre-annoyed? You just know that someone is going to piss you off. So your mood decides to get a head start. We get pre-annoyed at our colleagues when they walk into the office. We get pre-annoyed when our partner gets home. We get pre-annoyed before dinner with our kids. The problem is, our brain loves looking for patterns. If any outcome has happened more than once, we expect it. We expect it so strongly, we even preempt it. It's the reason you can start feeling annoyed about having lunch with your mum days before you sit down in a cafe. The problem is, getting pre-annoyed doesn't do us any favours. It can actually cause a problem when there isn't one. So, how can we quit it? The first step is to look for clues that pre-annoyance is happening. Do you feel annoyed for no obvious reason? Do you feel annoyed with a person before you've even seen them? One clue is having one-sided conversations in your head. Are you imagining them saying something annoying? Are you already planning your response to it? Now... Here's the hard question. Are you getting pre-annoyed as a form of self-protection? A lot of tricks our mind plays is because we're trying to protect ourselves. Are you preemptively getting annoyed because it makes you feel less vulnerable? Does it help you to lower your expectations? What if your next interaction with that person went brilliantly? How would that feel? What if your relationship actually got better? What if you had a good time together? Sometimes we feel safer predicting a shitty experience than waiting to see what happens in real life. How is getting pre-annoyed helping you to understand your place in your workplace or family? Finally, don't just accept it. We can all get less annoyed in a few moments. Take a few deep breaths. Move your body. Decide to be open to every opportunity. Pre-annoyance is a funny internet meme, but... It also feels annoying. Nip it in the bud early and see how you really feel. Space out.